Hello, I am Yogini Sunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present times. So let's start. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Today's topic is uh, depression and how yoga and Ayurveda can help with uh, depression. So what happens in a depression is um, we, we, we get stuck into past. So depression is a common mental health uh, disorder. Uh, its effects on our thoughts, feelings, behavior. Uh, it can cause persistent feeling of sadness, hopelessness, emptiness, uh, as well as a loss of interest in activities, um, loss of um, finding pleasure into anything in our life. People with depression may also experience change in appetite, sleep pattern and energy levels. And depression can cause a combination of genetic, environmental and uh, psychological factors. There are many types of depressions uh, from mild to severe. It can, or depression can also be chronic condition. Uh, it can be also have a range of severity from mild to severe. And sometimes depression lasts for months, even years. It is important to understand that when uh, these kind of uh, severe symptoms or even mild symptoms are there, it is important to understand that professional health uh, is necessary. So if you know someone is experiencing depression, um, it is a great idea to help, uh, seek help, uh, help them to understand that they need help as well. Um, we can also look at how yoga and Ayurveda look at depression. So if we look at from the yogic uh, point of view, yoga practices can really help to understand that how can we come out of depression because what yoga teaches us is yoga helps us to bring ourselves into this now, in this moment. And so what happens with a person in depression, they're stuck in their past, mainly and they cannot let go of the past. So with the correct yoga practices, we can bring them into present or help, help uh, it helps people to come into present uh, time and in this now. And what it help, what happens that this now, this coming into this now helps them to uh, almost get the control back in their system. So, uh, and also they start to understand that, uh, you know, yoga can help them to reduce the stress. They start to understand that in this now, everything is okay. Most of the time, everything is okay. It also yoga movements uh, or asana practices are not just uh, the physical movement, they also energetic movement. So the uh, correct asana practices will help to drop the heaviness of the, uh, of the depression. With depression, people do feel like a heaviness in settled in the system. So with the correct asana practices, they can... Uh, it, it will help them to move out of that. Also, breathing practices, correct breathing practices, uh, specific uh, kriyas will help them to uh, come out of these uh, a a state of depression. So what practices can help? St uh, practices like sun salutations, which are quite moving practices, uh, or Surya Namaskar practices are quite uh, helpful. Depending on the person's health, uh, and uh, you, you can choose the, the type of sun salutation, gentle, strong. You can even do a sun salutation with the help of the chair, you know. So, but starting somewhere to get the system moving. 
uh, also all the the back bend is also quite uh, amazing because what happens in back bend is we uh, kind of like uh, open through the front of the chest uh, and we really feel uh, you know that burden is lifting also shoulder rotation so it feels the shoulders relax and things like that so there are many ways we can bring in the practices movement practices uh, which can be very beneficial and so every day the practice uh, if it is done uh, regularly the strong physical practice or the practice which is we can call it like a, a active practice will be very beneficial but that doesn't mean that we do not experience a relaxation at the end of the practice so because relaxation is like a save button it also trains our system to be relaxed and 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 calm down as well so any asana practice should be always uh, have relaxation practice at the end of it also it we need to tune into the breathing practices pranayam can be really uh, uplifting if it is done correctly so learning pranayam from a teacher who uh, understands the benefit of pranayam and 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 have their own practice as well so the learning from a teacher who knows what is pranayam and can help you in that and then there are also poses like uh, a warrior poses which are again they are they so beautiful like they work with opening uh through the front of the uh, torso uh, the shoulders uh, everything becomes strong so warrior poses basically energetically uh they help us to face all the uh, worries and stress in our life so warrior poses series is quite amazing if it is coupled with sun salutation then it becomes even powerful so slowly building up to these kind of practices uh, a gentle or strong back bend depending on where you uh, you are at also poses like a bridge pose is also quite amazing to open again it's i'm talking about all the uh, the re basically expansion through front of the torso but also uh, we fold forward as well like any yoga practice you will have uh, back bend forward bend lateral stretches so bringing that in as well and sun salutation itself is a complete practice maybe repetition of uh, sun salutation practice and that will help to just feel uh, the energy moving in your system and so that's why uh, that's how the yoga practices will help also uh, meditation will help but with meditation i suggest that walking meditation rather than uh, sitting meditation uh, you know because walking meditation will give you the active state yet relaxed state so finding um, practices where even the meditation is little bit active so uh, walking meditation is basically we uh, completely mindfully walk we slow down the walking process but we are still walking we are still active um and yet we find balance of relaxation in that so it is a very powerful practice walking meditation is something i really love it just beautiful practice you don't need a lot of space or uh, all you have to do is like slowly stepping one taking one step at a time and really become aware of what's happening when you're doing this so the walking meditation is really wonderful then also uh, ayurveda can really help uh, for depression as well so ayurveda uh in ayurveda all this is even though it, ayurveda is a traditional healing science of india it is a medical science even though it is a many many thousand years old it's still applicable to this time uh, in this now because it is very practical science so in ayurveda when we um understand ayurveda uh, is quite focused on the digestive uh, system the so for example uh, first question the ayurvedic practitioner will ask is how is your bowel movement because according to ayurveda a lot of uh, illnesses uh, direct has a direct connection to the 
digestive system our gut health our gut biome so ayurveda will uh, from ayurveda's understanding ayurveda will uh, encourage us to check our diet so diet if it is heavy if it is uh, if it is giving you mood swings then it is time to change the diet so what can we do like you know bringing in more uh, healthy uh, diet which is uh, cooked vegetables and things like that will really be beneficial so as much as vegetables uh, you can have like uh, and which is a food which is high with uh, vitamins minerals antioxidants uh, all this will help for example fruits vegetables whole grains um lean proteins will be really beneficial but also when having this like after diet after your food consumption notice that how you feel do you feel uplifted do you feel heavy if you feel heavy it is time to change that diet you know so tune in to that also ayurveda is quite um, it's all about lifestyle uh, changes as well uh, or lifestyle habits so positive habits are very important in ayurveda um lot of our illnesses are basically uh, come from our wrong lifestyle for our dosha now what is dosha dosha means ayurvedic constitution according to ayurveda there are three um, um, constitutions uh, air type fire type and uh, earth type and so if we eat the diet for our constitution uh, then we will flourish you know but if we eat a wrong diet for our constitution then it will affect us differently so that's why you may notice that the same food affects uh, uh, us or our friends differently like tuning into that like what really works for you you will also notice that um, you know simple changes in the lifestyle for example instead of uh, uh, like going for nature walk you know uh, instead of uh, maybe that a strong cup of coffee in the morning what if you start your morning for going for a nice uh, walk in the nature and you'll notice that that is quite amazing and then you can also tune into a group uh, classes where you have a uh, sangha or you have people around you who are like minded people who are happy uh, uh, have this uh, contagious uh, happy feeling around you so once you have that you will start noticing that you want to go and uh, take part into these kind of like groups so group activity where you feel nurtured cared for is really good regular exercise is fantastic it affects our brain very positively so regular exercise a uh, getting enough sleep so in depression sometimes people lie down in bed but uh, not really necessarily sleep or they feel so heavy so finding uh, your circadian rhythms you know what really works for you how can you find that uh, balance of relaxation and activity in your life improving your overall well-being by really tuning into what really works for your system finding that out uh, and also there are some herbal remedies you can use uh, to for uh, depression and uh, this is i suggest that taking if you want to take herbal medicines i suggest go to the ayurvedic practitioner or you can book a session with me if you want but uh, i try not to suggest the herbs as much as possible or uh, any ayurvedic practitioner will be the same uh, we will suggest the lifestyle practices first the change in the uh, uh change into positive habits or positive rituals you want to call it or you can uh, and and change into your diet and change into a little bit of movements in your life you'll find that just doing that hey, you uh, already start feeling better so if you can do that then it is really uh, important to start doing these practices and also very important to talk about it with someone you trust you can 
uh, go for counseling if that works for you so finding a mental health professional who can help you uh, that you're going through this you know and taking that professional guidance will also be extremely helpful ayurveda and yoga can definitely help but also please understand that uh, you know yourself the best so really tune into what works for you understand that you know maybe you are vata or pitta or kapha and maybe if you have the diet around that and uh, and lifestyle uh, rituals and habits around that then you notice that the whole system starts moving towards a uh, positive energy and that's what yoga and ayurveda does it re- literally changes our energy body so uh, any energy body has a positive and negative charge so in depression or anxiety or illness uh, or stress uh, or anything like that the mental or physical illness our body our energy body starts vibrating towards negative and so when we do practices which are uplifting which are self uh, uh, and self care practices yoga ayurveda practices then our body our energy body starts vibrating into positive charge and that's what that's how yoga and ayurveda work so even though uh, ayurveda and yoga are the are designed to move towards enlightenment what is enlightenment is basically we are at our optimal level of our health our physical mental emotional health and so we start when we start vibrating on positive level everything uh, we start sensing that in our system and that's what yoga and ayurveda is all about so uh, wellness is a holistic term basically that's what uh, a wellness is uh, as well basically we start vibrating on uh, positive charge uh, positive energy i hope that this uh, podcast has helped you to um, understand what is depression and and how yoga and ayurveda can help so de- depression is um, it feels depression feels very heavy uh and if you start noticing that if for some reason like you know i know that life throws at us things and we we may all experience it once in a while you know if you notice that it is persisting it is continuing then it is time to take charge and it is time to uh you know go to take that professional help uh, start uh, using ayurveda and yoga to move towards uh, vibrating on positive energy i hope that this podcast helped you uh, also visit uh, my website the wellness uh, business.com the website is new the wellness dash the dash wellness business.com so this a new website is where uh, i am sharing the wisdom of yoga ayurveda meditation and helping uh you to move towards your optimal health if you are interested please visit my website and download four uh, meditations there is also dosha dosha quiz if you want to know what is your dosha and also there is a uh, one gentle yoga class so feel free to you know experience that and if you feel like doing a mentoring session with me uh, you can actually go to the mentoring session and book a session with me thank you very much for being here i really appreciate you thank you bye for now thank you for tuning in i really appreciate that that you're taking this time out of your day don't forget to subscribe take care bye for now <laughs>